Welcome back, everyone. This is Dogecast. I am Vin. It is June 9th, and we have some really good Dogecoin news for you today. If you were watching the prices of crypto assets across the board, especially Dogecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin, you are seeing them skyrocket up because of really good news. I'm sure you've already heard about El Salvador. We're going to show you that, but then I'm going to share with you why this is far better than you may realize. Now, this is the headline that's been making its way across the internet and media sources alike. El Salvador becomes the first country to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender after passing law. Now, El Salvador is a small country in Central America. It is just south of Guatemala and just to the east of El Salvador is Honduras. Uh, El Salvador is on the Pacific side and it has a population right around seven and a half million. This is huge. Let's scroll down this article. You can see here this tweeted out by Nayib Bukele. He is the president, the leader of El Salvador. Uh, the Bitcoin law, they're calling it, has been approved by a super supermajority in the Salvadorian Congress, 62 out of 84 votes. By the way, that is a super majority. So it didn't just barely pass. This thing securely passed. And you can see here he's showing you his signature. And that is the official law. He just sent the Bitcoin law to Congress. And this is huge. If you scroll down a little bit more, you even see this headline. Bitcoin volatility will decrease over time, says Digital Chamber of Commerce president. And on top of that news coming out, this is from Routers presented by Yahoo Finance, El Salvador is exploring volcanic Bitcoin mining, Bukele says. And if you scroll down, you can see his quote here. It says, this is going to evolve fast. The historically used currency of El Salvador is the Cologne, and that was used all the way up until 2001 when El Salvador decided to switch over to mainly using the U.S. dollar, U.S. currency. However, the Cologne is still legal tender. People do use it, but most people do use U.S. currency. However, it's not just the U.S. dollar and the Cologne that are legal tender anymore. Bitcoin is as well. And let me paint the picture for you this way. What does this mean? It means if you live in El Salvador and you go to the market and you want to go buy something, if you want to pay for it with Bitcoin, they must accept that payment. It is legal tender. They cannot turn it down. It is adopted by law by the entire country. And let me tell you why this news is bigger than you even think. It's not just that a country in the world decided to adopt a crypto asset as legal tender. It's what's going to happen after this. If you think El Salvador is going to be the only country that's going to do this, you would be wrong. There is going to be country after country that is going to follow. Now, most of the countries that are going to follow are going to be second and third world countries, okay? It's not going to be maybe United States and European countries first. It's going to be primarily those countries that are going to be looking for stable sources of currency and assets to be traded amongst their individuals so that they can protect them against the fears of inflation that have been spreading around the world. Once this catches fire, what's going to end up happening is you are going to see the volatility of crypto assets decline pretty significantly. Now, I know this is big news for Bitcoin. Let's go to the Bitcoin chart. So this is Bitcoin's chart for today. It is now 356 on June 9th, and you can see it is up almost 11%, $3,550. So this news has mainly benefited Bitcoin more than the other crypto assets that are out there. However, we have seen massive gains with Dogecoin and Ethereum and other crypto assets as well because whatever happens to Bitcoin, remember, it's the whale in the crypto asset water. It can bring the market down or bring it up, and we actually need Bitcoin to do well. Remember, Dogecoin does not compete with Bitcoin. They do two different things. So we actually are rooting for Bitcoin. We want it to do good because that opens the door for Dogecoin to get massive gains in the future when things start to move forward for it, and it will. Bitcoin will be adopted in country after country across the world. And then once they adopt Bitcoin and we have other crypto assets that secure themselves, and I believe it's going to be Ethereum and Dogecoin next as they do collaborative work together, they're going to come right behind Bitcoin. The other ones that are out there, there might be a few others that will be accepted as legal tender in countries, but most of them, and there's thousands of them, are going to fall to the wayside. So you got to be careful where you're investing your money because most crypto assets are never going to make it. Let's take a look at how Dogecoin is performing today. So it's up 5.56% as of 3.58 p.m. And it did actually jump up 10%, 10.47% at one point in the day. That was just a massive buy there. I mean, I think there was some speculation going on that it's like, oh, this is just going to skyrocket. But of course, this news is good for Dogecoin, no doubt about it. But it's the best news for Bitcoin. So right now, Dogecoin sitting at a nice 5.5% gain, which is a really good thing. And it's actually outperforming 
outperforming Ethereum a little bit, which is sitting at 4.2% gain. So although we want to see Dogecoin do better than a 5.5% gain, it's sticking with the big boys right now. You know what I mean? So it's doing good. It had a steady, nice gain, except for this right here, this little anomaly. It probably should have just crept up like this, but somebody really got excited right there. Could have been a hedge fund, could have been it could have been a big time investor. We don't really know. So where do we expect the market to go after this? Because we've been talking a lot about the fear of a bear market. Now, is the fear of a bear market gone? Let me go back to the Bitcoin chart to talk about this. Let me go to the five year. OK, so remember, the bull markets are awesome when it comes to crypto assets. The bear markets are long and steady. Awesome. And then the fear was we could be entering into another one of what we saw from March 9th. Uh, well, let's go back actually a little bit more. Uh, December 15th or so, 2017, all the way until around September 11th, 2020. So a three year period that we could be entering into another one of those times. And so are we out of it? Well, let me shuffle back to maybe the one year chart. And here's the thing. I am going to say I'm I'm not comfortable saying that we're officially out of it. Although this news is great, it's been clutch news for the crypto asset market. And it may in fact mean that we do not need to experience a bear market, which would be awesome because the return on your investment will be a lot quicker if we don't experience a bear market. I wouldn't say we're going to be out of the water until Bitcoin passes at least something around this mark, 43,500. If Bitcoin can come up above that mark, I think that would be a pretty good sign that we might not have to experience the bear market. And that's going to pull up the rest of the crypto asset market with it. And that is then going to open up the doors for Dogecoin because Bitcoin really is the keeper of the gate. If Bitcoin shuts the gate because it's getting short sold and it's not doing well and it's entering into a bear market, it doesn't matter what kind of good news comes out for Dogecoin. It's not going to help. But if Bitcoin makes its way out of this, it opens the doors. And then when that good news comes out for Dogecoin, it is going to skyrocket. News like Dogecoin being accepted by other companies out there, especially when the Tesla news comes out, and that will come out. Dogecoin improving its security. We're going to see news coming out about that as well. They're working on some improvements and modifications. Dogecoin collaboration with Ethereum. We are going to see that coming out and possibly more places and maybe even countries adopting Dogecoin as well in the near future. As that news continues to pour out, then Dogecoin with an open door because Bitcoin is doing well will begin to just increase dramatically. And once it is accepted mainstream, then you're going to start to see a lot of more hedge funds dumping money into it. And that's where Bitcoin gets a lot of its growth from, from these hedge funds. I mean, these places that are managing like 50 to $100 billion worth of assets, and they have to decide where they're going to throw this money. Well, they're getting more comfortable throwing it into crypto assets, but not if crypto assets are in a bear market. If crypto assets are shown by the movement of Bitcoin after it passes 43500 to be in a bull market, there's going to be a bunch of managers of these hedge funds that are going to put the money into places like Dogecoin, especially if people are more comfortable with investing in something that's a little bit more volatile with a lot of potential. And when that happens, you're going to see the market cap on Dogecoin. It's going to go way past $50 billion. It's going to go to $75, $100 billion, $150 billion, $200 billion. I wouldn't even doubt within a year or two if we see up to the $500 billion mark, especially if this this becomes crypto assets as an entirety becomes accepted by the world. Even if there's more regulation, that's OK, because it means that they are, in fact, accepting this as a means of legal tender. And this I want to highlight today as good news for Dogecoin. Vitalik Buterin is a Dogecoin holder. We already knew this from his interview that he did a few days ago, but I just wanted to highlight it that he actually did say he invested into Dogecoin. He did sell off about half of his investments when Dogecoin was at about, I think, six five five or six cents or so and then he kept the rest of it he does of course regret the fact that he did that he didn't realize that what was going to happen but he is a massive holder of dogecoin and he is the co-founder of ethereum and so there's no doubt about it he wants dogecoin to do well and he wants a collaboration between doge and ethereum and so does elon musk and i believe the co-founders of dogecoin would want that as well because it's going to secure their crypto asset and it's going to be good for the average person who's going to be able to use this. So really good news across the board. The one thing that is going to take us to the moon right now is if Bitcoin, and let's look at their one day chart again, if Bitcoin can continue to make its way up, it needs to keep going. Bitcoin gained 
what what was that? What thirty two thousand, and now it's at thirty six thousand. That's a four thousand dollar gain. It needs to do another six thousand dollars, six to seven thousand dollars in gains. That's what it needs to do. If it can do that, I think financial analysts, hedge fund managers, and and massive investors are going to see the green light switch that. Crypto assets are not going into a bear market. That was just a, a holding point. They are going to move forward and they're going to put their money into these places. And Doge is going to be a part of it. Yes. Is Doge going to be the most volatile of the group? Yes. But guess what? There's some people who choose to invest their money in volatile things sometimes because they want the potential and the potentials behind Dogecoin. And I think we're going to see a lot of investment in it, especially with all the good news that's going to be coming out. So really good day today. We'll continue to keep our eye on this and we'll see how things go and see if we can continue to crawl our way out of this or maybe jump our way out of this. I see good stuff for Dogecoin. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you haven't liked the video already, like it. Definitely share the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would like to get this channel growing for sure uh, for Dogecoin and just continue to move forward in this direction because this is going to be a pretty big part of uh, at least the, the near future that we see uh, in front of us. So hope you guys have a good rest of the day, of course. And as always, I will catch you next time.